right, here we have a Sony EZ4 alarm. It's a clock radio, kind of a retro thing with the faux wood grain here. See some of the features. Has the alarm, cancel, radio, and buzzer. Change it over to buzzer. The dream bar thing, I know it's a main feature of this, but I really don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's just their version of a snooze button or how it exactly works. When you hit the dream bar button, the word alarm pops up here. We have a sleep. It has 15 minute, 30 minute, 60 minute, or 120 minute timer, and then the on and off button. Kind of a neat thing is how the alarm works and setting the time. Let's try and get this a little better. See these dials? This is how you set the alarm. There's 12 hours uh, daytime and then nighttime here, and then up to 60 minutes there. So, yeah, we'll see if we can. Let's see it does work. And then the bottom here, you can see those two buttons are how you adjust the time, forward and reverse. You have light and or high and low for the brightness. I saw other people mentioning that the battery door was missing, but that's not actually true. Um, it doesn't have a battery door, it just has this clip that holds the 9 volts. So that's not missing, that's how it's supposed to be. So let's show you what the uh, alarm sounds like. Let's see, we have the time is at 1.56 a.m. So I'm going to set the alarm for, uh, let's set it at 2 o'clock. We have it on radio. And we'll just hit the button here to go forward. Well, that set off the radio and the alarm, didn't it? Let's try it here. Let's set it for. Uh, Wayne and I agree with you in those instances. We need more economic. So it set off just the radio. Fix, turn the volume down. So there you go. Sony EZ4 alarm. Might have a problem with that switch. I don't know why the radio and uh, buzzer's coming off at the same time.